When I first approach a horse, I will look at him from a distance, from both sides and from the rear. We've already gone through that scenario. And so I've kind of got an idea whether this horse is in the bottom third, the middle third, or the top third. And for horse people, you obviously can look at the horse and say, doesn't look too bad, and this horse is in the middle third, which means it has a body condition score of four, five, or six. Five is so-called the ideal score, and maybe later videos you'll learn that actually I want a horse about a five and a half to a six, sometimes a six and a half, particularly if it's a mare that's a brood mare and lactating mare. Regardless of that, we now need to determine is this score horse at a body condition score five, below the line, or slightly above in the fleshy area, above the line of five. So to do that, we can use the visual, but now I have to go in and actually palpate for fat, and that is the sponginess, how much that fat pad gives. And granted, horses very uh, good in muscle tone will have less sponginess, less spring to that fat pad than a horse is fed for maintenance or even possibly a brood man. So after I've gotten that, I go through, take my hand that's flat, fingers together but supple, and I will go through all the areas we talked about and feel for sponginess. And I usually just follow the hand of the withers, and as you know with horses, you need to always know where you are. So either my body or my other hand will always be on the horse so there's no surprises. Then I'll come back behind the shoulder and feel that fat pad there and feel the sponginess. I know this horse is not in the fat category in the upper third, so I'm not even going to be concerned about behind the point of elbow. Then I'll run my hand over the rib area and get a sense of the amount of fat that's there. And then I just follow the horse back, go over the point of hip. Although this is not in the condition scoring, I had already evaluated the horse for his roundness or angularity in, the, in his hind quarter. I want to feel how spongy he is over the top line. And that actually tells me a little bit about whether the horse is a working animal and, or maybe a maintenance fat animal because of the lack of muscle. But again, I need to emphasize, as I did in uh, the fact sheet, confirmation and muscling is not, is not a factor in body condition score. And then the final area I'm going to go is at the, the tail head. And if you notice, I'm palpating with my fingers down. If I go on this way, they'll actually feel a little different. So you need to be consistent when you palpate the animal with around the tail head and you feel the sponginess. If you have read through the body condition scoring fact sheet on Dr. Bray's corner, this horse is about a five and a half, which means just above the five line. Reason is that the fat over the withers, the fat pad behind the shoulder, the ribs are not seen, but they're easily felt. But I do need to apply a little bit of pressure, not to a score of six, but enough that I give them a half. That's why I go to the five and a half on the rib area. And then the amount of fat that's over the tail head. I use half systems only because it says that the animal is more than a five, but has not reached all nine criterions to make it to the six category. That wasn't the original intention, but allows some level of precision in body condition scores. So this Mustang, we're going to score at about a five and a half.